Hello guys, welcome to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Uh, please subscribe our channel uh, for more Civil Engineering videos. Today our topic is about what is the difference between a rear hinge and pick support. It's very really important to know about the difference between these three kind of support as every civil engineering structure is being supported on these three types of supports. So I will discuss here in detail one by one, alright? So the first one is a rural support. Lower rural support. The second one is hand support, right? Hand support. And the third one is fixed support. Fixed support. So the rural support, the rural support is uh, is uh, dramatically being represented by by uh, O shape and this is a dramatical uh, gra gra uh, the grammatical representation of the rural support and support is being uh, represented by in such type of in, in this type and the fixed support is being represented like this. So what's the uh what's the reaction that's being supported by these these three different type of supports right so the row support can only resist the vertical loads like if the load is coming on the structure in the vertical direction so it will only provide the resistance in the vertical direction so i can represent it by ry because it can only support the vertical loads if horizontal load is coming in this way like in this way it will not provide it will not provide any resistance in this way, right? So that's why uh, it is uh, it is only one reaction. It's the vertical, and it is called as rural support, right? The horizontal is zero. I can write as the R horizontal. We can say is equal to zero. It can only represent. It can only resist the vertical loads, right? While coming to the second one is hand support. And support can resist both the vertical as well as horizontal or horizontal as well as the or vertical right or y like for example the load is coming uh, in this way and uh, what in uh, this way so it is both the components is vertical as well as the horizontal so this type of load is being supported uh, the resistance being provided in the vertical as well as the horizontal direction so it can resist uh, the horizontal is built the vertical it means it can resist the translation in both the direction but it cannot resist the moment like if a moment is coming so it will not resist any moment and it will go under deformation in case of the moment demand right so this was the hand support now coming into the third one uh, uh, the fix support in case of the fix it can resist it can resist vertical it can resist horizontal are represented by ry it can resist res the horizontal as well as it can resist the moment right moment like for example i'm taking here this is a fixed support and there's a cantilever beam and there's a load acting on this uh, beam so due to this load it will uh, uh due to this load vertical loads the vertical resistance has been provided in this direction ry while sometimes maybe the horizontal load maybe comes on this beam so the resistance will be provided in this way and as well as sometimes due to this load it will create the moment in this direction so the resistance will be provided in this way this is represented by m so the moment is also being created by the fixed support so it means the uh, fixed support has three qualities it is the more the vertical is horizontal as well as the moment while hand support there is no moment right moment is zero and the hinge support while it can resist the vertical as well as the horizontal load in case of the roll support uh, the horizontal is zero it, can, it only supports the vertical and also the moment is also zero right so this was the uh, little difference between the three kind three different types of supports uh, that how it reacts uh, to the demand coming uh, on these three types of supports right so I'm going to uh, take a one practical example of how it works, right? Like I'm taking an example. This is the uh, this is the one column. There's the other column, 
and we just put the uh, some beam on these two columns right so this will act now as the roller support because due to this beam load these two will provide just only the vertical reaction right ry will provide in this direction ry provide in this direction while if the horizontal load is coming on this beam so this uh, so this beam will being slip from this way it will slip due to this uh, types of type of load coming on this way because it is rx horizontal reaction is equal to zero so it will slip into this way so this uh, the characteristics of floor supported it can only resist the vertical loads right so i'm uh, now going to explain the hand support in real life hand support hand support is the type of support like I place a column these two columns and this is a beam I place but I place also some blocks for example here some blocks here while it can resist the horizontal as well so now when the load is coming so now when the load is coming on this way or in this way so the horizontal load will be provided the horizontal resistance will provide in this way or horizontal as well as uh, due to the uh, the vertical demand will be provided by this reaction ry right and ry so in this case the horizontal load is resisted by this supports as well as by this support and the vertical resistance are provided by this two supports right so in this case it can resist the both uh, two types of demand the horizontal as well as the vertical so this was the hinge support now coming into the third one uh, the hinge or uh, uh, fixed support it mostly common uh, in our real life structure fixed support fixed support is like this if we constructed a um, this we constructed a column there's a column and we also uh, place a beam monolithically and this uh, in this column all right there's a column moving and there's a column moving upward and there's a beam and there's which we place the beam so now when the loads are coming on this beam so due to this load it will go into deflection we can say at uh, the moment demands will be coming in this way or maybe in this way so this moment and this load both load will be resisted in this way vertical horizontal load if any coming so it will also be resisted though, by this column beam joint and due to this load the form distributed load uh, load coming it will cause a moment and this moment will be resisted by this column beam joint right this column beam jump and this column beam joint the reinforcement provided in this way uh, and this column beam joint will resist the uh, this uh, demand coming from the loads right so it will resist the vertical horizontal as well as the moment demand due to deflection it will create a moment here a negative so this moment demand will be resisted in this type of support and we call is the fixed support right so beam column joint will be a fixed support in case of the reinforced concrete structures so um, this was all about the, uh, the the three main important types of supports and uh, if you have any question i can summarize it if you have any question please comment down and we will respond to you as soon as possible so i can summarize the road support it has only you know, horizontal it is only horizontal load horizontal is zero sorry vertical uh, is uh, there while moment is also zero in case of the hinge support horizontal is zero moment uh, uh, vertical is zero while moment is equal to zero in case of the fixed support horizontal is zero vertical is zero and moment is also there right so this was the summary of three different types of uh, supports so if you have any question now please comment and please please subscribe our channel for more civil engineering related videos and thank you for watching our video